popping? It's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a good day slash week trading. If you aren't, make sure to take a break. But I am back dropping another video. Today we're going to be looking at my charts slash my trades from last week. We had a great week. I need to be doing this a lot more. I was in Dubai for three weeks and we had some insane weeks. We did have a losing week though. Let's keep it real. We took about minus three to 5%. However, within those three weeks, every single week was a 10 to 20% plus week. That is insane, apart from one week, of course. But I'm now going to be uploading all my trading breakdowns throughout every single week, which you guys will be able to watch. So make sure to like, subscribe, if you are new around here, I'm going to go onto the charts in a second so I can show you the analysis and also the trades that we took in the XAU USD group, which is only £100 a month or £250 lifetime special offer. So make sure to get involved in that. If any of you are looking to get funded by a prop firm, make sure to check out the links in the description. The Forex Funder, they are the number one right now for the prices. They do next day bank withdrawals. They do crypto withdrawals. They are the machine of prop firms right now. Link in description for a 50% off code. This will be expired soon. This is only for my community, so make sure to get yourself in on the change account. It's definitely worth it. But without further ado, enough talking from myself. Let's get into the video, baby. I'm going to show you two analysis. It's the 1842 cells, which we caught, and then straight after that, we caught the buys. Beautiful, beautiful buys at 1825, which you'll see here. Now, I'm going to talk you through my whole gold analysis and why I entered these trades and also where I'm expecting gold to go. So, I wanted to actually technically see gold pull back all the way to 1819 and we did here. We've seen it wick out. With what we're seeing right here is it's not respecting the previous 1819. It might respect here and then go long. If it does, then perfect. If not, then my next target will be 1810 around this level here to then go bullish. I think we're in a bullish market. So I caught sells and then buys because I thought this would be a good place for it to reject. But I'll talk about that in a second. Now, looking at the overall market direction, we've seen it go push up all the way to 1880, then push back down to 1804. Now, within 1804, we've seen it do a bullish engulfing stagger to the upside, which makes 1858, which is previous wick higher for 1857 down to 1804. Makes sense for a break and retest. Now we've seen a break and retest there. Now we're going to see how gold holds in this little zone up here. And obviously we can mark it out a bit differently. But how you're looking at this is gold previous higher to lower higher here. What did you see? You saw rejection build up there in that box right there. Now once you see gold sell off, we see it all the way set off down to 1824. Which is then a great place because previous lower higher to high respect in here. Drawn out across there, so you can add that as your kind of like support area or such. But really, it's a bit of price action. You know where price is going to come down to and reject from. Now, my reason for entry was I knew gold was going to sell off because obviously we come down to 1830, and if you look at 1830, previous bullish engulfing to make highs up to 1852, which 1850 is a major key level. Therefore, we're going to always retest down here. We did that, wick below, then pulled all the way back up to 1843 for an absolute huge retest. That's where we caught our sales in right there. Beautiful, beautiful play it was. And uh, yeah, we're just, we just go replay mode so you guys can see quickly. Bang. It was that straightforward. And this is also the buys as well at 1825 that we called back to back. And this is why my trading is good because look, we're making over 17%. Just good percentages, good percent, great percent. And, uh, you know, you could take three, four losses if you really wanted to. But at the end of the day, you're never going to not lose because the R2R -R is there. And if you look on the daily, it doesn't really make sense. So this is an intraday trading. Clear wick out, sells beautiful. Now we're looking at our buys. Obviously, was expecting it because it's lower high, which is what I said at 1830. Now the buys, 1825. The previous lower high to high. You know it's always going to respect there. What do we do? We take out the previous sellers on this hour here. All the way to 1848. Which is close to 1850. Which is a major level. Also bullish engulfing from here. Where 1830 wicked come up here and then sold off. If you look previous high of that bullish engulfing. We wicked out of it. And then continue to just 
sell off. Now look at that. Retest as well. Wick out. Previous sell. We drop down to previous body 1824. Which is right here. I've made a lot of profit. A lot of profit. You could got buys again. Buys back up to retest the previous candles here. For further sales back now. And we could see 1810 sales now. Or we're going to see it, you know, continue to retest. And then hopefully it should go up. But right now it's creating a lot of noise. 18, 17 since speaking to you guys. So we're going to see about the 1810. The reason why 1810, previous high, previous low high, 1805. Right here. Beautiful stuff. You're expecting it to come down to the previous low high high, which is here. At 1810. Round about there, and then what you do is you get in your bias here, 18, 89. You obviously look at the higher time frame as well, so you go on to the daily and all that sort of stuff. But that's like since it's just broken down here to 18, 17, that's the most likely thing to take place right now. Obviously, if you look here on a daily, daily body here is 1808, so you're looking for 1808 to 1810 rejection there. That would be a good rejection box. For further buyers as you can see previous wick out lower high was here yes we've come up and we've made i mean this is kind of disgusting right you're seeing it respect but that's all bullshit it's all noise you're looking at the overall market direction you've seen it break up make new highs 1880 pulling back down this was a previous previous wick out 1887 as well so previous highs coming back down to lower highs should be a small retest and then into further buyers. That's my analysis anyway. Back up to 1889 on the daily. Which is when obviously I wanted to get there. We didn't actually quite get there. We got to 1880. And then it sold off hard. We actually caught the buyers in this. And then it sold off so hard from 1880 basically all the way to 1805. Which is why I think it's going to go balls back up to 1889. Which is this previous candle here. Purely because previous range zone here. Previous lower highs. We need to tap out the lower highs of this previous range and then sell off if it was a sell anyway. But I reckon this buys back up. Again, we're going to go and break past the 2000. Amen in that. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like the content. And uh, yeah, if you guys enter at 1810 and it's a buy from all the way from 1810 to 1889, then let me know in the comments whenever it takes place. But yeah, I'll catch you boys in a bit. Much love. Take it easy and peace.